Tutorial number one, getting started with R. The primary statistical software we'll be using in this course is called R. In order to help you learn this software, I've created a series of tutorials. In this first tutorial, we'll discuss the basics of getting started with R. You'll see how to download inst and install the program, and I'll also provide a brief introduction as to how R works. R is a statistical computer program made available through the internet under the general public license. That is, it is supplied with a license that allows you to use it freely, distribute it, or even sell it as long as the receiver has the same rights and the source code is freely available. So that means it's going to be free for you to download onto your computer and use for all of the different homeworks and labs that we'll be having in this class. It exists for Windows and Macintosh platforms along with Linux as well. In general, R provides an environment in which you can perform statistical analysis and produce graphics. I have to note that there is one possible barrier to learning R, and that is, is, is that it's generally command line driven. With, this means that the user, you in this case, is going to type a command that the software interprets and responds to. This can be daunting for those who are used to extensive gra graphical user interfaces with drop-down menus, tabs, pop-up menus, left and right clicking, and so on. It may mean that R takes a little while to learn. However, it's going to be time well spent. Once you know the commands, it is usually much fi faster to type them than to work through a series of menu options. They can easily be edited and saved for later on, and you can make tiny changes along the way that are going to be important for your final statistical output. So to install and download R, you're going to go to this website here, the Comprehensive R Archive, Archive Network. And as you can see on this first page here, you can download R for Linux, you can download R for Mac, and you can download R for Windows. So please go ahead, click on these uh, links, and then download them to your computer and install R onto your computer. Once you have that done, I'm going to ask you to install one more thing. And this is called R Studio, which you can get from this website here, rstudio.com. So you can go to this website, click on Download Now, and then follow the instructions to download R Studio for your desktop. While R on its own will work perfectly for all of the different statistical processes that we're going to do in this class, I'm asking you to download R Studio as well because it provides a little bit more of a compact version, and I think it might be easier for our newbies like all of you to navigate through. So go ahead, download these programs, install them on your computer, look around a little bit into R, um, look at the different menus, see what you can do. And then we'll move on to our next tutorial and our next lab where we see the beginning steps in what to do with R.